Good morning. Is it still morning? So we've been up since 5 a.m. and it's 9.30 and yet we've forgotten to start an actual vlog that we were going to do today. I've gotten a ton done. Me too. But not that. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's February 1st. You know what that means. Time to eat. Time to eat. I'm super excited about it. So if you're new to our channel, um, we have been eating only keto chow for the last 31 days. And we've actually had a lot of comments on our videos for new people who just came to our channel like, why? What are you doing that for? It had nothing to do with like our diet or anything like that. It's a fast we do. Every January, we give up something for God, kind of like Lent. Yeah. And um, just our way of like starting off the new year, sacrificing something. And since our favorite thing is food. Absolute favorite thing. We gave up food this year, but we didn't want to screw up our diets or anything like that. So we decided, okay, so we'll eat keto chow, which we like, but that meant no steak, no wings, no nothing else. So we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse today for our absolute favorite food. Yes, we're going to have some prime rib yep. and break our fast, break our like break our our fast for spiritual God. fast. Yeah, and then um, and then move forward in February because we're not going to eat prime rib every single day of February. Why not? Because I think that it would probably not do what we want. Oh, I think it would do perfect what I want. Like I was looking it up, <laughs> like a twenty ounce prime rib, fifteen hundred calories. And, um, you know, pretty much equal fat to protein in grams. I think that's perfect. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford a $28 steak every single day for, for dinner and lunch, but... Well, and we are also eating loaded broccoli with it. I'm definitely going okay. to be putting some, like, cheese and mushrooms on that, uh, you know, piece of meat. So, yeah. So, you said you've been really productive this morning. I've been really productive. I woke up, like, 10 minutes after you. I did my reading, I got a video edited, I went into the kitchen, and since we don't need as many blender bottles right now, because they've all been just like piled across the countertop, and now it's time to get into some cooking videos. Yes. So we need to clean up the kitchen. So I started putting things away, reorganizing, got to the pantry, and I'm like, this thing is disgusting. So... <laughs> It's just like everything's been thrown in there and I can't take it. All the it. holidays. You're just the reaching holidays for stuff. And just like when kids put stuff away, they're like, where does this go? I don't know. Just throw it on top of everything else. So I'm reorganizing, finding a lot of things that I didn't know I had, finding things that I didn't know I was missing. Organized all our keto chat. Now I know what flavors I need to order. Like we have absolutely no um, of salted caramel. How did that even happen? We have no snickerdoodle. And most importantly, we have no chocolate peanut butter. Wow. So. All our ice cream flavors. And we have one bag of chocolate toffee. But what I found is I need some more containers. Like, I need to go get some containers. Because I also want to organize the other container. Like, the other thing with the almond flour and all that stuff. The Better Homes and Gardens ones? Yeah, I'll put a link from them below. We get them from Walmart. And uh, here's the thing. So, you know how... Our main pantry has an upper door and a lower door. Yes. Well, I had the upper door open, and I bent down to get stuff <gasps> off of the bottom oh door. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, and the upper door swung halfway closed, and oh, I didn't know it. Oh, honey. And I got up, and this is why you shouldn't be bald. Oh, my god. Because gosh. now you can see that. I'm so sorry. I want to kiss it, but it's bleeding. So you need to clean that out and then uh, put a Band-Aid and I'll kiss no, the Band-Aid. No, we don't do Band-Aids. I don't do Band-Aids. I'll kiss it. So, 
I am going to go to Walmart and get storage containers. Okay. So that we can like put away the erythritol and all that kind of stuff and just clean up our kitchen. We've got four episodes of kids ministry to tape tomorrow. Right. Yep. So I am going to work on four weeks of scripts. Okay. For that. So this is what I'm in the middle of. I am sick and tired of a cabinet where I can't find anything. So I'm in the middle of organizing everything, which means taking everything out, seeing what I have, and then reorganizing it. While I'm driving to Walmart, I'm gonna have my first meal of the day, which is a protein shake. I've been working with Bronson lately, and Bronson wants me to be having at least 150 grams of protein a day, and I can't exceed 150 grams of fat. And through the month of January, I was doing it by having just a protein shake, and I really like it, so I think I'm gonna continue it for a while. Now, the way I've been making this, is I take a blender bottle, I put about eight to 10 ounces of almond milk, the unsweetened. I use whatever's on sale. So the one I've got right now was the unsweetened vanilla from Silk, but I use whichever one happens to go on sale. Then I fill the blender bottle the rest of the way with water and I put that in my Vitamix. Make sure you don't put your like blender ball in there. I've done that a few times. It's a pain to get it back out of the bottom of the Vitamix. To that, I add one scoop of keto chow. Sometimes I don't even use the keto chow, but I like the keto chow because it's gonna give me some nutrients and it's also gonna give me some electrolytes. So that's why I like to use the keto chow. You don't even have to use that. You can use a regular protein powder. And then sometimes I'll add some of this uh, perfect keto collagen. I'm actually gonna add it because I was cleaning out the cabinets and I have like exactly one scoop left. So I'm just gonna put that in there as well. And then one raw egg, I'm gonna put that in there. And then blend it up. Here we go. Now, sometimes I'll actually put a few ice cubes in there to get it colder, but today everything came out of the refrigerator, so it should be pretty cold. Super creamy. I like the egg. The egg like really emulsifies it. We really learned to enjoy having raw egg in our keto chow. I don't know, it, it just brings a richness and a thickness to it that's, I think, better than heavy cream. So these are the containers that we use for our keto chow and we really like them. Now, the specific ones that we use are this 11 and a half cup one and this 18 cup one. This will hold about a bag and a half of keto chow and this will hold a bag and about two scoops. So we like this because we can stack two on top of each other and they fit perfectly in our cabinet. So this is what we've come to, a robot cleaner here at Walmart. This thing is just walking around the entire store and cleaning the floor. So I am not a fan of just eating olives as a snack, but Rachel loves them and I need olives for our recipe. So I'm gonna have to buy this big jar because that's all they have for Kalamata olives. She'll just have to eat the rest of them herself. Ooh, ground turkey with 15% fat. That's really interesting. Take a look at this. Zero carbs, 13 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein. People ask us all the time, how can you eat carnivore cheaply? Take a look at this. You come to Walmart and you find these. So this was originally $12.96. They just reduced it today and they're just, you have to use it or freeze it by February 1st. So take this home, stick it in the freezer or stick it in the slow cooker and make some pulled pork. So I spent $125, but I got a lot of containers and I really want to get the kitchen organized, but I think I did pretty good. So I got six of these containers, which is what I use for the keto chow, but it's also going to be good for the almond flour. I got one of these big ones, uh, big, just for the flavors that we use a lot of, like chocolate toffee. And then I also got this. And so this is like a three pack where it's a square one and then two smaller ones. And that'll be good for like erythritol, things like my cocoa powder, uh, my, you know, curing salt, just stuff that I can get out of bags and 
just organize those cabinets a little bit better. There is a lot of like pollen and dust flying around in the car right now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's kind of distracting for me. So hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys. Every time I go to start a video, there's like something. There's a helicopter, there's an ambulance, there's a fire truck. There's always some kind of noise thing. So I just stopped here at Wawa because every time I get in Rachel's car, we need gas, so I'm gonna fill up her tank so that she doesn't have to later. Anyway, I'm really hoping that these like containers are gonna keep me more organized in the kitchen. That is definitely my biggest flaw. I mean, I'm not a dirty person, but I'm definitely a disorganized person. I mean, what about you guys? Are you like a disorganized person or are you like one of these people like everything has a place and you take the time to put it back where it belongs? I wanna be that way, I'm just not. So like every once in a while, I'll clean off my desk and then I'll have like a bin for this and then I'll have another pile for this and a little container for this. Same thing in the kitchen. And like my full intention is to stay organized from now on, but then life gets in the way and I can't. And I start piling things on and you know, just the next thing you know, I have giant piles everywhere. And then two months later, I have to go through and organize it again. And it's the same thing in the kitchen. You know, like I like everything to be going into the cabinets like nice and neat and organized. But I do most of the cooking, but I definitely don't do the cleaning and the emptying of the dishwasher. I kind of pass that off to the kids and they just kind of put stuff wherever they can find room, which understandably, they don't know exactly where I want it put, but it gets frustrating to me because then I'll have to come back and reorganize it again. And again, you know, I could do it myself, but I'm lazy and I don't want to. So I'm hoping that at least having these containers will keep the section that I'm primarily responsible for organized instead of me just like taking bags of curing salt and erythritol and, and just throwing it in there and piling them on top. I'm hoping that I'll be able to look in there and go, this is where everything is. And then when I open up the cabinet, everything doesn't fall out on top of me. Are you ready? I am so beyond ready. I got our gift cards. Let's go eat. It's only some of them. You want to see what I did in the kitchen? Yeah. So what did you do? Okay, so I didn't finish the whole kitchen, but I did a couple of cabinets. You so, finished your head. I know. I, I was thinking about wearing a hat just to kind of hide it. Probably. But I don't have a hat that matches. So, okay, so here's what we have. But see how it keeps swinging? That's how I hit my head. Look, you can see where I hit it. Aww. Okay, so these are all of the containers of Keto Chow. And we have two different sizes. So this is the 11 cup size. And like I said, this will store a full bag of Keto Chow plus like two or three scoops. So when you get to the end, you can just kind of top it off. This is the bigger one, which I wasn't a fan of the bigger ones because down below, like, you know, I never filled it up all the way anyway. It doesn't hold two full bags. But up here, moving it up here, I can actually stack it like this. Of course, look, look what flavors in the big one. Chocolate toffee. So this container will hold uh, like one and a half bags. Then we have our pork rinds over here. This one doesn't have a container because number one, I'm out of containers. But also, um, mocha for me is okay. And you can pretty much get the same taste if you use coffee, like regular liquid coffee as the liquid base instead of water and then do that with chocolate and you're gonna get a similar flavor. So I probably won't buy more mocha the next time, like when this runs out. So we're just gonna use it like that. Then in here, look at how much more room we have. So I, much more room for activities. I threw out so much stuff because what happens is, is you forget it's back there, right? It goes all the way to the back. It's like, wow, I was so upset of how much stuff I threw out. And then I also realized like how much stuff we don't have. Like we have two cans of chicken. Like I thought we had a lot more cans of chicken. Okay, so here's the way I, I just, this is all organized. Like here's all our kettle and fire bone broth and like our coconut milk stuff that we don't use that often. Pickles. Our different sauces. Now here's what I wanted to show you. If you have non-keto people in the house, like we have Anthony and Caleb, you know, sometimes like their foods may trigger you. Like you open up the cabinet, you see chips or something like that and you want it. So what we do is they're designated to one shelf. So down here on the bottom, that's their shelf. And that's where all of their stuff goes. And I told them, if it doesn't fit on there, it's got to stay in their room. And what we do is we keep it low. First of all, because I'm old and I don't want to have to bend down to get my stuff. But also, again, if it's low, you may not see it as soon as you open up. Think about a grocery store. Where do they put the food that they want you to buy the most? at eye level. So put your food at eye level and the food that you don't want to eat, put that down low because chances are you're not going to bend down and see it 
unless there's something down there that you want. Now over on this side, we actually still have more to do. I ran out of containers, but you can see here's all of our spices. And then we have our coconut flour, our almond flour. These are all the Better Homes and Gardens containers. And then here's my peanut flour, monk fruit, our golden monk fruit, curing salt, allulose, chia seeds, just to kind of organize it a little bit better. Still have more to do, but it's a start. I am super proud of you. We need to do this in every room of our house, like in every drawer, in every cabinet. It's probably something that we should do every year. January, February is probably the perfect time as you're just cleaning out stuff, checking expiration dates, and just making sure everything has a place. Now the challenge is to keep it organized. Cause like I was saying in the car, I have full intentions of being an organized person. It's, it's the thing that I struggle with the most in being organized. And I always have these intentions of like this year, I'm gonna stay organized. And within two weeks, I'm not organized anymore. I think part of the issue is you need to budget time for yourself <laughs> to, you know, to, to do the activity, to cook the thing and clean up. I right. think a lot of times we're like, I'm going to give myself precisely one hour and the cook time and the preparation time is precisely one hour. Right. So I think you need to budget yourself some put away time. Otherwise, it just won't happen. Right. We almost forgot something very important to, you're gonna need when you go get steak. And what is that? <laughs> look at the dog. <laughs> we need Redmond's, but look at the dog. What is she doing? Tap of the sit. No, sit, sit. She's like, no, I don't wanna sit. She's like, no, don't you do it. Are you ready to go get some steak? Beyond ready. Together again. Are Together you excited? forever. Texas Roadhouse. I'm home. I'm gonna get y'all today. Okay, so we're both gonna have the same thing. All right. Uh, 20 ounce prime rib. Cool. Cooked medium. All right. Um, both of them smother them with onions and mushrooms and cheese. The jack cheese okay? Yeah. All right. And then for the sides, um, we're gonna both do the same thing. Two orders of broccoli. But can they put them on a plate instead of in a bowl? Yeah. And then on top of the broccoli, everything you would put on a loaded baked potato. So cheese. butter, sour cream, bacon, gotcha. um, cheese. It's basically a loaded baked potato, but broccoli. Sounds but on good. a plate, I'll put them on plates instead of in a bowl. Sounds good. I am so happy right now. I literally want to just hold this and you put in a picture of what we're eating because I don't want to like have any delay in eating it. Does that make sense? It, it, so in other words, you want to fake eat so that when we Let's do have to now. eat, like, yeah. I can't, I can't be waiting because you're going to be like, can you wait just a second so like I can video this? No, I can't, I can't wait. But that's the life of being like a food blogger, right? You have to like take pictures. We never eat like We're hot terrible food, at it. right? We never eat hot food. It's well, always like ice cold. Either that or you're just not getting a picture of it. Yeah, that's more what happens. That's why we have like terrible what I eat days because I ate it. It's, it's more like what I ate. Mm, look at that. You have until I finish salting this. <laughs> well, I don't think you're gonna be able to finish it. I know you think you're gonna be able to finish this, but you have not eaten like regular food in 31 days and you've just been doing the keto chows. I have a feeling that your stomach is not gonna handle it and definitely at least will not be as quick as you normally are. I'm gonna eat slowly because I do not want to make myself sick. But then you may actually get full faster. So worth the wait. So people always ask like, what do I like about keto? When this is just a regular meal, not a treat. You did it. Was there really any doubt? <laughs> I mean, honestly, did you, do you have no faith? 20 ounce prime rib, how was it? It was so delicious. It really was like worth the wait, but I really like what you said about it being it's an everyday food for us. Right. It's a treat because this is our first like meal of 2021, but 
This is food that I can eat every single day. I can have delicious fatty meat and broccoli and cheese and bacon and sour cream, all of that every single day of the week. And it's not that we actually eat prime rib every day because budget. we can't. Yeah, budget, but we can eat it if we really want to. What I can't believe is that I'm not the only member of the Clean Plate Club today. You ate all of your prime rib and don't have a doggy bag. No, yeah, definitely guilty of that. I was hungry. I didn't even realize it. It tastes really good. But I am thinking about the fact that we're about to go home and make a recipe video and it means we have to eat what we're going to make. So I have a feeling the kids are going to be eating a Greek carnivore mug cake for dinner tonight. Here's the good thing. We still have $170 worth of gift cards left for Texas Roadhouse. Well, let's go back in there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Cleaning our disgusting cabinets. So yeah, I did do like the inside, but I didn't really clean the outside much, especially down on the bottom. We are waiting for our recipe to complete its cooking process. So in organizing the kitchen, yes, um, I've realized something now. So what I realize is it's time to finally renovate the kitchen. Well, we've had the backsplash for five years. Yeah, it's sitting out in the shed. I mean, that's how long we've been planning on doing it. it costs a lot of money, though. It's not even the money. I mean, it's somewhat as the soon money. as lacrosse is over, we're definitely going to do it. I'm not worried about the money because I'm going to do it all myself. Maybe we can convince Heath to come here and like help us build cabinets. What do you say? We'll porky pig it. So I, I'm, it's, I could do them myself if I wanted to build them myself. The thing I'm really concerned about is number one, not having a kitchen for a couple weeks. Well, it's okay. We'll just go to Texas Roadhouse every night. It figures. Uh, but no, what I really want to do is I want to be able to preserve these countertops because they are granite. And that is that's the money. probably the most expensive part of the kitchen is our countertops. So I want to be able to take all of these countertops off and then find a place to put them in the house to keep them while we build like new kitchen. But it's these cabinets are refaced cabinets from the original owner, which is like 1976. I, I mean, so they've done that job. definitely time. They've worked hard. Plus, I need more storage. Like, we're out of storage, and I want more storage so that I can have more gadgets. Okay, so here's the thing. This is like the fourth outfit you're wearing in this one-day vlog. Well, we are taping a bunch of videos, so different clothes. Okay, let's talk about this spray stuff. It smells like hairspray. I actually love the smell of it. So we got this at Walmart. It was the only thing. They had no There's Lysol, nothing no nothing. Else. But hold that bottle up because this stuff is amazing. It smells good. It smells like eucalyptus. But look, it's it called like Aquanet. Odo Ban. Eliminates odors, but it's a multi-purpose cleaner. It's a disinfectant, a fabric cleaner, an air freshener. It does it all. But I'm telling you, I sprayed that stuff on the stainless steel stove and refrigerator, and it took it? every spot out. Like, that stuff is amazing. Well, I'm telling you, I really feel like I could spray it on my hair because it smells like Aquanet. I think it smells really good. Aquanet in the purple can. So, um, yeah. We have to, assume we're done filming this video, we're going to go watch Thor. It's, we're gonna, I want to watch Thor. Well, after we watch, we re watch the ending of Iron Man 2. because I, I watched it last night. I know you did. Uh, I know you and... did. I fell asleep. So I have to rewatch it again? Like, it's not like we haven't seen Iron Man. It's like the only Marvel movie that we I... have seen over and over and over but, again. But, like, it's in order, so we have to, we have to make it happen. I'm having some water with some Redmond Pina Colada Relight in it. I've had my fourth mason jar of water only since we got home. I guess I must be legitimately thirsty. I had no soda there. I'm so pr super proud of myself. Okay. Well, that is going to be today's... Full day of eating, full day of nonsense, Joe and Rachel. Like, we worked our butts off today. High five. High like, five. Like, five videos today. Like, that's, like, amazing. Now, tomorrow, we got to shoot four preschool videos. That's right. But you know what? I'm so thankful mm -hmm. for what we get to do. Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have a complete playlist of full day of eating videos, which I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.